Now let's talk about how we can possibly shorten our computations with the cover up method. Look at the original denominator, which we have x minus 3. Because of the x minus 3, it's underneath the a. We know we can use a cover up for a. And then x minus 2 to a second power, and we can use cover up for c. And notice that these are also just linear factors, so we can make them equal to 0. So let's do it with a cover up method. So to get a, what we need to do is um, imagine you multiply everything by x minus 3. Well, I just have to plug in x is equal to 3. Because if you have a factor x minus 3 right here, the moment you plug in x equal to 3, that will be 0. Likewise, that will be 0. All we need to do is to solve for a, go back to the original expression, cover up the same denominator together, okay, and plug in 3. Because 3 is the one that will make that 0. So you just like plug in that. Anyways, you work this out, you get 3 squared plus 1 over 3 minus 2 to the second power. And on the top, you get 10. On the bottom, you get 1. So of course, that will be 10. Okay. And then for C, we also have the chance to use cover up because this right here, it's exactly the same as that. So let's work out C. Well, it's the same exact denominator. You have to cover up the entire thing. And then I'm going to plug in. Plug in what? You have to ask yourself, how can you make this 0? And the answer is that x is equal to 2. So the moment you copy this up, you have to ask yourself how we can make that 0. And once you get a number, which is x is equal to 2, plug in 2 into this x and that x, plug in 2 into the remaining x's. So we will get 2 squared on the top plus 1 over plugging 2 in here, so 2 minus 3. So work this out, on the top you get 5, over on the bottom you get negative 1, so which is negative 5. And you'll see how we knock down two numbers right away. A is 10, and C is equal to negative 5. And to get A and C, once again, because the denominators are exactly the same from the original. Okay? And then we talk about this is how the setup will be when you have a repeated linear factor, and remember, all the power has to be present. So for the b, we have x minus 2 to the first power. But now the question is, how can we solve for b? I use all the power cover up methods already. This is not exactly the same as that, because it's not enough power. So perhaps now you can just pick easy numbers to work with. So let's just pick some easy number. I will say that x is equal to 0. I think that's easy enough. And then plug into here, we get 0 squared plus 1, which is 1, over plugging 0 here, plugging 0 here. And work out the power first. So you get negative 2 squared, which is 4, times negative 3, we have negative 12, when x is equal to 0. But you have to plug in 0 into all this x now, okay? On the top, we know a is equal to 10, so we have 10 over 0, because we choose x equal to 0. 0 minus 2, which is negative negative 3, I mean, <laughs> plus b, we don't know yet, over 0 minus 2, so it's negative 2, plus c we know, which is negative 5 over 0 right here, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, square that, you get positive 4. And we can just solve for this equation, and we'll get the value of b. And this is fractions, right, equation with fractions, let's multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which is negative 12. Negative 12 times this, we just get 1, positive 1. Negative 3 cancels out with negative 12, we get 4. 4 times 10, we get 40. Negative 2 cancels out with negative 12, we get 6. 6 times b, we get plus 6b. This cancels out, we have negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 5, we get plus 15. And you see that this is 55, so we have 55 plus 6b. It's equal to 1. Of course, we can subtract, so we get negative 54 equal to 6b, and that will tell you b will be negative 9 after you divide both sides by 6. So we got it. b will be negative 9. And you see how we can use the cover up method as much as we can to reduce a lot of computational steps, and that's what you should be doing as well. However, it only works when you have linear factors. And then if you have like a repeated linear factors, it only works for the highest power that you have. If you have like this situation, you will have to do something like this, okay?